as an operator, uh, whether with G uh, my body weight was around 185, 190, uh, but when tactically loaded with weapon, vest, helmet, it was closer to 245, 245 pounds. Um, and that was just assault gear and not a rucksack. Um, fast, fast moving work it requires that you move efficiently and swiftly in and around and over obstacles with all of your gear on. I, I, we tried to slim everything down to absolutely what was necessary to get the job done with not a lot of extra stuff. Um, I've watched individuals pack their vest, pack their plate carriers with excess ammunition or equipment. Um, it, it, it was a mental comfort item maybe, but it was not mission essential. And you know, uh, ounces equal pounds and pounds equal pain. So the less I can carry just what I need to carry, the better off I'm gonna be. And th you know, this, this causes problems in movement, fatigue, no matter how good of shape you're in, if you overload your body, you're going to eventually have the same problem that a fat guy is going to have just because he's out of shape. So physically, you need to be able to move through an obstacle course with all of your gear and ensure that you can fight with your combat weight, whatever that might be. For you, know, for you as a civilian, um, you know, a parent, whatever your combat weight is, you know, spare magazine, pistol, tourniquet, you know, whatever it is, you got to be able to fight, move with that. And also, you quickly find out what stays on your body and what falls off when you do that, when you do that run. We'd make new dudes that would come onto the team run a full sprint with everything. We'd tell them, say, go in and get everything you think you need. They'll come out and run, and it looked like a garage sale behind them as crap flew off. I saw a Glock 19 one time bouncing down the field behind a dude. It was unloaded. Uh, obviously, it was clear and safe weapon, but still, the point. So you make changes as necessary to your equipment. You, you tape or you tie the gear down. My, my gear back here, like this, uh, this belt, my, um, you know, I've, I've zip tied things down to this thing just so they don't come off. And uh, same, with, um, same with the plate carrier. You know, I, I zip tie these things down so that these things don't, don't come off. As for combat loads, right, let's talk ammo and what you carry. Look, look at how much ammunition and how many weapons you are carrying. I watch folks carry 12 to 20 magazines on their body, and in my opinion, way too much, way too much. Uh, you cannot effectively maneuver with that weight, nor can you sustain any aggressive operational tempo for any length of time. Uh, generally, Four to five magazines in a disruptive environment is more than adequate for any situation that, that, that I've ever been in anyway. I mean, okay, do the math, right? If you critically hit a bad guy with one out of three rounds that you fire, that is 10 people per magazine, assuming you've got a 30 round magazine. So you carry four magazines and you're looking at 40 people that you critically injured. You've taken off the battlefield. Multiply that times four operators, four guys on the team, and you have 160 people that you have taken off the battlefield. If the situation becomes so critical that you need more ammunition, then the situation is going to be one where you're going to have plenty of dead and wounded on your side who will not need theirs anymore anyway. If it makes you feel better, keep a few extra mags in your, in your truck.